Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition, Sphere of Influence, Masamune's Ambition Edition. I'm serious, JG. Um, last time the order to march was issued, and as a matter of fact, we never even got to change the music to the combat music because I issued the orders and we haven't even ended the month. But we'll end it now. Make sure all the tribes are still thoroughly on our side. Almandretta, you are almost certainly in one of these units that's on the march, but I'm going to send you out to do this anyway. Let's actually, let's meet <laughs> the starting lineup for your Los Angeles Lakers. Um, Masamune is marching out with Masakage Rusu and Tsunamoto Oninala, because most of the created officers have actually been sent away from the capital. Although I said I wasn't going to involve them, the monkey merc is in fact out here because I kind of forgot. But it looks like the discontentment had worn off. He's marching out with uh, Takanobu Nanjo. Uh, Moto Moto Toki Kayaba is marching out with Utadate and Nobuyasu Goto. And I don't really remember if any of those officers. Are created officers. None of them have created officer looking stats. Vulture Bobo is marching out, presumably with Vulture Bean and JG Mystery. Kalana Warisanda is marching out with Hamuko Arisato and Tudashige Mizutani. This will upset oh, it's Lady Tolpanzer, who had the uh, portrait of the other than being female, similar to that one guy that made me notice him. Lady Tolpanzer and Eventide Fate. Eventide Fate's having a quiet LP so far, but she will be marching out along with uh, Motomune Watari, one of our smallest units involved in the fight. And Okami Hato will be leading out Mutunobu Endo and Kasayori Yashishiro. I would be using these guys to attack the Soma, except that, again, some of my actions are dictated by uh, what our circumstances are going to be at the beginning of the Sekigahara scenario. So it's like there's no point conquering cities, and then five years later, this force is in charge of the city because we never really conquered it. Toriyama Rosaru should be marching out with Grimoth, and I figured they'd have a third officer, and they do not. They probably don't need one, frankly. Uh, Toriyama Rosaru is a beast. He's only got 700 troops in the unit, though. And we've got uh, Shaman Yamazaki, along with Shizugane Date and Kite Katakura. So, Shaman Yamazaki, if nothing else, you've got one of, one of the major plot characters of all of our story scenes. Shizugane is now uh, underneath you, so that says something. And Kite Katakura is also a major uh, Date officer, the way this game does things. Kariando, the heroine of Motomiya Castle, will be marching out with her old comrade Zura Uncle Baldo Fall and uh, Sagadusai Oniniwa. She's the Lady Ogre of Motomiya Castle. Or, you know, whatever the hell nickname she wants to give herself. Bloody Handed will be marching out with Bukhar Rubios, the guy who. Uh, convinced one of the uh, Ashina officers at effect and Moto Nubo Suzuki. Uh, brother to Cutie Suzuki. And uh, El Mandretta the Avatar will be marching out with Neko Lizaka and Earl King. And um, let's get going here. Did I say I wanted to uh, appease one more tribe or am I already. I'm already appeasing the one that's at only 58%, so. I should have the music change. If we keep on this path, we'll end up fighting with Shirakawa clan to avoid necessary fighting. How about a detour? Nope. Draw them out if you want to. I don't give a fuck. Gangster. We march. Let's go. Onward to the battlefield. Let's head out. So you've got a thousand. You've got a thousand. 676953 8273103 I'm debating whether I should have uh, Almandretta the Avatar just uh, 
attack these guys to lower their troop counts so they won't be able to defend that castle later. Aha! Uh -huh, this guy is going to defect. He's not in charge, though. Looks like they opted for two units. Interesting. They don't have the troop counts to hold us off, but this could get bloody. Um... I'm almost tempted to have Masamune march down this way. I'll let you guys uh, assault from the front. But if Masamune comes down this way, he will bowl past any defenders. But honestly, to ensure you guys don't get up to no good, I'm kind of thinking I'll have Elman Dread ahead over there. Fight all these battles at once? No, I really can't. But we're gonna have a pretty big throwdown here. And uh, not all these units are gonna come out of this. I'm, like, there is no way that I won't have some of these units get routed. That's just how it's gonna be. And ultimately what it's going to come down to is there is nothing that's going to stop Bobo and the armies in the north once they get there. They, there is no way they will have the troop, the troop strength left to hold off like Monkey Merc and um, Bobo. Vulture Bobo is probably going to take the Ashina out once and for all. We, they, may, they may be enough troops that we can't just finish them off in this one attack. But we've got no real time limit on this. Our failure condition is that Masamune, Kojuro, or Shigazane die, essentially. And there's probably a time limit too, but I think we've got more than enough. We'll help you. Okay, so now we've got the tribals helping us here, which should make this easy. Although it's not going to be so easy that she can take the castle in front of her. She won't have Let's enough advance. forces left, probably. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. So we've got a battle on the path to wherever... Follow my lead. Their unit is slightly larger than I thought it was going to be. Acknowledged. So we need to uh, adjust slightly. I kind of want to get you guys. It would be nice if you were attacking a little earlier, but Acknowledged. hopefully Almondretta's superior tactics will... Probably want to go raise, yeah, cause enemies in front to attack each other. Earl King's tactic is probably our best bet here. Do you think you could beat us? Because that could throw them for a loop. In fact, at this point, shall we do battle? Spire, raise defense. Oh, she's not even taking losses yet. Now she's starting to take the losses. Needs releasing with a chance to confuse enemy. Does not seem to have worked. Are they actually attacking yet? Might have been a tactical mistake to let her unit take so many of the losses.
The real problem is that if uh, she's defeated, the tribals are not going to stick around to fight, so I can't just take even losses here. Let's get started. So she's going to win the fight and uh, not actually have enough strength to proceed to the castle. We withdraw. So that was a little bloodier than I was hoping for. So she's going to want to uh, return home. Let's head home. But the point is, now, uh, I would have to assume, without having spied on this castle, that had to be almost all the forces in Shiono Castle. So, she won the fight. She depleted their, their numbers. We'll be getting our forces back as quickly, if not faster, than they do. So that worked out fine. I don't know that I... Sometimes I might be better off just letting the computer fight these battles. I don't know if I'm adding that much, but... We'll see if Akari Ando is... Uh, how this fight goes, because I don't know if this is all going to be considered one fight. We join with the Date clan. Everyone, follow me. Saratsuno Uichi and that many troops have defected but I'm not letting it end like this. Interesting. So now... I don't know what side they defected to, but this unit now only has... I don't see them as being a separate unit. She didn't, uh... She doesn't seem to have joined up with us, but these guys are down to 500. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how that works. We move. So it would be nice if um I'll do it myself. I'll pull a little bit further back. I don't like the idea of turning around outright, but uh, I don't want to be right on top of those towers. Everyone, follow me. So let's get turned around to be facing them when they do arrive, because they should be coming towards us. Well, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not going to come out. by some of the troops from other... Let's go. Okay, here we go. Now I've pretty much got them again. I'll do it myself. Why are my losses so much heavier than his? I don't understand that at all. The rule to unification is all there is. I do not know why I'm taking higher losses. Follow my lead. Get them! Get them! Yeah, I've got all these like wimpy units that are attacking me. But, um, I should still be... Yeah, because those guys, just from coming into melee range, they're going to get destroyed. Same thing for you guys. Not bad. Now is the time we show our pride. I don't know if I can evade their charge. I'll do it myself. I can try. 
Men are confused. Come on, pull it together. Yeah, I was able to kind of evade their attack. So Masamune pulled that one out pretty well. Despite my minutes from escaping speed, a defeated enemy unit right in front of the castle. Let's keep this up and hit their gates. Yes. Enemy officer captured. Can we capture an officer? And uh, none of you guys got involved at all, to my surprise. It wasn't considered the same fight. Um, so Masamune should be able to finish off uh, Yoshimochi Uguni. And now I'm like, let's keep going. Let's... Uh, Let's have you guys march on towards this castle. Acknowledged. And then you guys uh, march on towards this castle. I continue to march on this castle. Yes. <sighs> and by the time that Bobo and the uh, forces, the northern forces, you know, <laughs> the forces from Winterfell, by the time Bobo's marched in with the wildlings from the wall, uh, you know, and the Black Brothers. <laughs> the, the, the Black Brothers, what are they called? Uh, you can take the Black, the, the Brothers on the Wall. I don't think they're ever called the Black Brothers. Game of Thrones nonsense, folks, never mind. Yeah, but by the time these guys arrive, like, they'll just be fanning out to take over all the other castles, including this one, where there's 2,000 hit points, so we need a decent force to take it, but we already know we've wiped out the defenders. And these forts, these fortresses too, like, everybody marched out. Looks like this time, Cardiando is actually going to be considered part of the fight. We move. Come on, people, we will going to move. I'll do it myself. So Cardiando, um, leave it to me. Not exactly late, but um, by the time she arrived, Masamune had done most of the work. But this will be good because Cardiando is somebody whose loyalty is a little. <laughs> Uh, it won't matter once we have to start a new scenario at Sekigahara, but she should get a bonus in loyalty for actually fighting side by side with Masamune. If you fight side by side with the daimyo, you know, you go through the horrors of war together, uh, that's pretty good for uh, loyalty. And this battle should be cake compared to what we just did. Now we've got them badly outnumbered, and I've got more units. Masamuni will be taking some losses from these towers. It's probably not even worth worrying about. I'll crush the old ways with these hands. These hands of mine. Shine and roar. Hunting Fox, I don't really have enough for, but uh, we won't worry about that. This is Again, I don't know why I'm losing Get so down. I don't know why I'm losing so much right now, but. Masamune won't have much left, but he's basically wiped out their retreat. So, Cardiano didn't get much of a chance to do anything, and Masamune had wiped out. This battle's lucky with the Reckless trait. Yeah, those two together can take that castle. Even without tribals. You've got a thousand. This castle has three thousand. So one thousand. Well, you finish this castle. If you get the help of the tribes, you guys. Could take Kurokawa Castle. Without the help of the tribes, you won't have enough forces, and we'll have to start actually attacking the walls, which will lead to troop losses. But much depends on whether any more troops deploy to fight us. Desperation and eccentric. Wow, he's booking. It's like slow the fuck down, Masamune. You're not going to do anything without her help now. We march. Masamune is just like intent.
Your orders, please. Your orders, Templar. Here is last month's balance. So we're making money. Reporting in. Want to teach the reckless trait to a retainer? Well, I guess I can do that. Yamiso tribe supports us. Also, I have won a battle. So I've grown stronger with this power. I will take this nation. The nation of conversation. And we can build facilities, because that's the important thing right now. Neon Matsu Castle. I like Kabuki Theater, but I prefer no theater. someone. Um, I don't think it gives a loyalty boost, but I feel bad about it. Monkey Merc, so I'll teach him a trait. Why not? This won't stick. I mean, once we start the new scenario on Sekigahara, he, he won't have that trait, so who cares, really? Um, I think I'm going to uh, get Masamuni to just back the fuck off so that he I'll and do it myself. Atariando, Akariando rather, can attack together. Because once they wipe this unit out, I need to have, between the two, more than a thousand troop strength or I won't be able to take Aizu Shingu Castle without more support. And I was kind of hoping I could just have them quick take it out without diverting anyone else. Their main castle is Kurokawa Castle, and that one will be a bit more of a challenge. Although, it's entirely possible the last one to fall is going to be Shionu Castle. And this castle here should fall... You know, to be on the safe side, Bloody Handed really should be coming up here to support them, but we'll see. Anyone else need, uh... You guys are not as on our side as I would have liked. So we'll have you go do it, even though you're in the middle of fighting. But you're fighting really close to where they are, so maybe it makes sense. Okay. Baldo is improving ro roads, even though he's also an adjunct, an adjutant. I guess the idea is that he's he's issuing orders through letters and, and whatnot, but you are still just way too freaking fast. Slow down. Because the time it took her to actually get her battle array going, you uh, were like ready to freaking attack those guys, and I didn't want you attacking them. Yes! There won't be a battle here because there's no troop. I don't think there's any troops left, so. Yeah, you should just take over Inoshiro Castle, and I think that's our current quest anyway. I'm not worried about short circuiting these quests because the ultimate overall quest of this is take out the Yoshida. Anyway, Masamune? He's on the freaking roadkill tour, man. He's, he's in Evansville, Indiana, throwing around trash cans and power bombing jobbers. He's taking no prisoners. He is not happy with the Ashina clan. Tell you what, you got 2,000. You come here. And, um... This is Robobo's benefit more than anyone else. Buddy handed? Much like the Yete <laughs> was an insurance policy for the Dungeon of Doom against Hulk Hogan, you will be an insurance policy uh, against, um... Whoever these guys are. Uh... Yoshimochi Oguni and uh, Aizu Shingu Castle because me. Masamune has just been in a lot of fights and he's not quite ready to retreat yet. But uh, Kariando, they they should be able to do it. We will join you. Oh, and with the tribals helping them, that's it's obvious they can do it. So maybe I don't care anymore. Maybe I can just arrange it so the tribals take all the losses, and never mind. I won't need you as an insurance policy anymore. <sighs> It really comes down to it. 163 troops, 700. Defense is only 257. Hopefully Inoshiro surrenders quickly and doesn't prolong things too badly. Sending everyone. Basically, I believe we've kind of guaranteed... It's, you can see the close-up view. I 
think we've kind of made it here, so... Advance! I actually don't want you to advance at all. I want you to back up. I'll do it myself. And I want the tribals... Understood. Right on through. And I want Cariando to come on through. And we'll end up fighting Understood. a bunch of towers and shit, but whatever. The main thing now is don't let our main commander get defeated. I'll do it myself. My valor. She's eccentric. She's uncontrollable. I don't know if that's a useful trait. I believe I can't give her orders now. Yeah, okay, nice job, Akariando. You're like freaking, you're in insane berserker mode. I can't give you orders. Attack. I mean, you're gonna Attack. win anyway, but, because they have Move even back. less troops in that unit than I thought they did. You defeated an enemy right in front of their castle. Perfect time to hit their gates. A. All right, might as well. Okay, the rear guard trait. You thought you could run away. So I'm. I guess what I guess my headcanon for that is that she kept arriving to battles too late. She kept arriving to battles that Masamune had already won, and she was like, "No, fuck it, I want glory." And she just like decided to crush those guys. Meanwhile, Lethal is trying to single-handedly take down this can this castle based pretty much on his reputation from the prior battle. Because, in fairness, Lethal crushed uh, the leader of the Ashina clan in battle. The Ashina clan was attacking Motomiya Castle too late to reinforce the Ogre of Hitachi, but they came in nonetheless and attacked. And Lethal, with Grimmeth as an as, as adjutant, but basically Lethal was in command. No other units even arrived to the battle before Lethal had just sent them, sent them running, crying and wetting themselves. Where do you think you're going? Well, whatever. We march. I'll close you in. You're not gonna win a battle like that. Meanwhile, we got uh, Toshimitsu Anazawa. Not bad stats on his unit. A uh, thousand troops, roughly. But our stats are better, like better. And it looks like uh, Bloody Handed is going to get his chance for glory. Uh, because although Kurokawa Castle is their capital, and he will not have the forces to simply overrun the defenses of the castle itself, uh, he is commanding an army of exactly the right size to destroy the field army that they put to prevent the uh, castle from being encircled. In other words, what I'm saying is, uh, Bloody Handed's chance for glory here is to beat the final great Ashina field army, because we might get another Ashina field army deploying uh, possibly at Shiono Castle, although uh, Elmendred of the Avatar already took care of most of its troops. They might recover enough troops to get like a small like token resistance force, but Bloody Handed is going to be basically engaging in the last open field battle, if he wins, that is. The last open field battle against an Ashina force of any real strength. So, um, not necessarily by design, but bloody handed, you can't complain too loud about this one. You just gotta make sure you win. And we'll find out next time. And let's play Masamune's Ambition, Sphere of Influence. Thanks for watching. See you then.